yo 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 how's it going everybody welcome back to my first episode of 2b2t on this channel now i'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory so for some of you who are new to this channel i actually had a previous channel that was a certified youtuber on 2b2t and after it took about seven hours just to be kicked from the server for lag every time i tried to join i eventually gave up on uploading 2b2t which kind of caused the downfall of that channel i mean i just demotivated me in general not because the people watching my video stopped watching I just lost motivation what I did and school took over and it was just a really bad experience and now I'm getting back into the game field and I'm coming back to 2b2t so for you guys that don't know my first episode of 2b2t was what created me as a youtuber I went from about 100 subscribers to about 2,000 which was a huge leap for me so I went ahead and compiled a list of the things that I did in that video to help ensure that my new channel may even see a slice of the success that I had with my previous video. Of course, 2B2T isn't in a prime stage right now, but nevertheless, it was a fun experience, and I'm going to go ahead and follow my list that I compiled. So, without further ado, let's get into the server. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have joined the server, and it appears we are in some obsidian cage. Ah, oh, look at me down there. Oh, no, it doesn't say my name. Okay, whatever. We're in some obsidian cage. So I can't see crap right now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I can't see diddly squat. Alright, so we have just a very slight issue right now. I haven't played this actually in forever. I actually haven't played this version of Minecraft in a very, very long time. So I'm not 100% sure with the mechanics. I'm a, a 1.8 player. But what I do know for certain is that I've watched enough dual survival <laughs> and survivor man that I believe I'll be able to make it out in the wild, the wilderness. Oh, okay, I don't know how I'm going to get off of this thing. This is actually crazy. All right, I'm going to have to just hop onto this. It looks like the bottom is water down, water down there, but all right, taking the water down. So while we're just kind of chilling here in the water, if you take a look at the top left screen, side of the screen, there's going to be a little list right here that uh, kind of goes over the stuff that I did in my last episode so we can ensure success. Woohoo! So episode one, it is episode one. We need to make it out of spawn. So let's go ahead and make it out of spawn, right? Yeah, logically. This looks really bad. It looks a lot worse than I last remember it. Pretty sure they destroyed a lot more of the spawn than I last uh, recall. All right, so there's still a queue for this server, but I went ahead and bought priority just so we can actually get really into the series here. I'm actually really surprised with how popular 2B2T still is. I know like it's a fun server and all, but I was not expecting a 500 player queue, especially after the rushers. I remember back in the day though, there was a queue that was over 1,000, 1,300 and stuff. And you know what? My dedication, I actually went through that queue and then I joined and got kicked for flying. And I just, I remember that. I really had a, a sit down moment. I was like, you know, should I really continue this? Is this really what matters? And what funny was I was actually like a, a YouTuber on their system, but they still didn't give me priority which I mean I missed it by like a day that is about it like I literally joined the day after the priority cutoff and that makes me so sad I really do not remember it being this bad I was actually at least able to stand on the surface the last time I played this it's just crazy to see the progression of 2b2t but I know one thing is for certain and that's that I need to get away from spawn ASAP I remember the hardest part of starting out on 2b2t was finding food because the spawn like there's no way you're going to find food anywhere near all right I'm gonna make uh I'm gonna make my way to this chest right here and we're gonna see what's in this chest I have very low hopes for anything being too good in here but oh okay I don't understand what this is price kit too I don't know what a tome of undying is but it seems pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my under chest and let's skidoodle daddle out of here all right so we're kind of making our way out of spawn let's go down to the second thing on this list I have to see me myself and I because that's what I did in my other video and it was really cringy but you know what <clears throat> from the top Woo! it's just me myself and I Solo right until I die Cause I got me for life <sighs> Oh my god, <laughs> that was terrible <clears throat> Ooh, It's just me, myself, and I Solo right until I die Cause I got me for life Alright, that was the best I can do I'm gonna get a voice crack in there, it's gonna sound terrible <laughs> Alright, so I did get a tracer up there So that means there's probably someone on the obsidian up there But I'm not too worried because I'm pretty far beneath them I had a lot more enthusiasm into the first time I did that But I mean, <laughs> my voice was like Three decibels, not three decibels It was like three pitches higher So I was able to be like Aah! Oh my god <laughs> I have a pretty big vocal range, I can go like Aah! 
and then I can be like, oh yeah. <laughs> you sound like the Kool-Aid man, I jumped through a door, oh yeah. Alright, so there's, what the heck is that? I, I don't know, there's probably mobs underneath me, I'm not too worried, not too concerned about any of this stuff. But what I am concerned about is the fact that I am most likely going to die of hunger. There are actually nether portals everywhere, and I know these nether portals are extremely dangerous. At least from previous experience, I know that you can get stuck in these nether portal traps, and that's the last thing that I want to be stuck in right now, so I'm going to mainly focus on going on the surface. Dude, it's, I'm just, I'm so stoked to be back on the server, it just, it makes me so happy to just, uh, the memories, you know, of me getting out of spawn, and I just, I remember waking up one day, and I, my video had about 50,000 views, and I'm sitting here with 100 subscribers, and looking at that, man, it was just... You can't beat that feeling of seeing something that you did being successful. It's just the sense of pride and self-accomplishment that you get from that. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. And it just, it makes me so happy to be back on the server and just, I'm kind of reliving those days almost right now. I mean, of course, it's like years upon years later, but it just, it, it makes me really happy to be back here. There's flags upon these nether portals and I don't understand that, but there's a boat right here, dude. Sweet. I'm going to eat this boat and let's get ourselves out of this watery mess. I don't understand what that flag is, but I know the symbol. I, I recognize it from somewhere. I just, I don't know where. All right, let's, uh, okay. Okay, I don't know why it keeps kicking me out of this boat Dude, why is it kicking me out of this boat? Oh, look at that. Look at the wall right here. I see It must have taken forever to get this wall all situated You know, I'm gonna give it to you guys that wall tactic worked out really well I ended up falling through a crack, but I'm actually surprised with how well and efficient that actually was. So, you know, props to whoever was working on that wall. Alright guys, it looks like we have some sort of base thing over there. Look at all the chests in a row. Let me go see if I can loot something out of that. Alright, so I'm mining the cobblestone right here with my fists. <laughs> let's take a look, let's pass this cobblestone. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Namdu? Yeah, no, there's nothing here. It's already been completely looted. There are a ton of mobs above me. This is a remake of 2K2K, by the way. The original is completely gone. There is a wither. There are two freaking withers. <laughs> no, what the heck is going on? Three withers? Are they, They're all below me. Dude, what? What in the world is going on? What is that? What was... Why are there custom named withers? You know, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna hop into the nether, get some progress, and hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves away from spawn to a point that uh, everything won't be destroyed. Oh, there's a sign on this nether portal. Let's go ahead and check it out. I mined a lot of dirt, by the way, because uh, of situations like this where dirt will come in handy. All right, let's see what the sign says. What the fuck? Let's just go ahead and hop in the portal and let's hope that nothing bad happens. Look at that, we made it to the nether. So it's obvious this is some sort of obsidian highway, and I know this is going to be frequently traveled, and uh, there's not really anywhere I can go. Alright, made it back to the overworld. There's trees! Oh my gosh! Look at me go! Alright, and the last thing on my list is a clickbait title. So for those of you that don't know, my video that exploded, it was titled, I Found the Camping Rusher Sign, Episode 1 of 2B2T. And what was really comical about that was it said 2B2T Episode 1. And then in the title, it said, I Found the Camping Rusher. And nobody was able to see the part that said sign until you actually clicked on the video. And I thought that was really hilarious. So let's go ahead and do this clickbait title. I'm going to try and reenact this scene as much as I can. And obviously, this is a joke. Don't take me seriously. I'm sorry for this clickbait title. But you know what? I'm just reenacting success. So from the top. <clears throat> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Dude, I'm in awe! It's the camping rush or sign! Wow! I've made a lot of cringeworthy content in my past, but I think this about tops it all. But anyways, now that we've crossed everything off our list, there's an actual sign over here. I didn't do this one. Tree gang? <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm part of the tree gang! Don't F with me! 
But no, in reality, we made our way out of spawn where, where trees are. Now we can actually get established and start working our way towards the future. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my episode 1 of 2B2T, the oldest server on Minecraft. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so that I know to do more of this series. And also, I paid $20 for the Q subscription thing, so I want to put that to use. So, um, I don't want to waste $20, so go ahead and leave a like and subscribe just for my wallet if you don't like the content. You guys hear anything? It kind of sounded like wind. All right, I'm going to end this video with a nice sunrise. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it classy. Keep it cool. Be safe and see you later.